Hey guys, Kevin here. Today we're going to uh, add a sublimation tank to a WF3640. We've done a couple of uh, Epson conversion before, so this one will be short and sweet. The product can be found at the BCH website, printer modification, the whole printer Epson. And we're going to use this T252 cartridges. With the same kit, you can also do the wet format, such as uh, 7710, and uh, we're going to do that in the next video. Uh, this video is sponsored by Exeter, a uh, European design wallet. It's a world first smart wallet. You can see it's super stylish, and uh, it'll catch eyes at, at the checkout line when you do this. If you can now find your wallet, you can use a smartphone to ring it up. And also it gives you a Google map where the wallet is. Use the link in our description and you can get an extra 15% off. You need to convert your printer to a chip printer to start. Uh, this kit doesn't include in that, con uh, that conversion. Uh, there are a bunch of websites. I'm going to mention one, but there are many of them can do the chip conversion. Uh, here, I'm going to type it out for you and uh, I don't guarantee anything from it. So before you order anything from me, you have to uh, be able to convert it to the chiplets first. And then <clears throat> you need to make a two holes. One is uh, between between this, this, this air vent, it's right here. And the second one is here. You wanna make it large enough so the tube can go through it. and put those two brackets here on the both sides. The tank will come with a small color plugs and just ignore the color sequence of those plugs. We're gonna remove them and we're gonna use the sequence of uh, KCMY, the black, cyan, magenta, yellow sequence. So we we'll select the first tank to be black tank and we're gonna use a permanent marker to mark which tube is the black. And now we put this uh, through the through the hole we just made, and the black always point to towards front. Okay, so this is black. When you can see the tube halfway through, you kind of you kind of uh, use your uh, use something to poke it down. Now we use the, some duct tape to seal the seal the. Uh, still all the way around it. So now it's easier to open and close the tank. Next, I'm going to run the tube through through here. I'll use a plier to bend it outward a little bit, so it's easier to work on. Uh, remember, the black tube should be on the top. Now we can push it back. And now we can add ink. We remove the bigger plug to add the ink. The smaller plug is for shipping, so uh, normally just put it somewhere safe and do not use it. And uh, also, after you do that, uh, just put a big plug back and uh, close the lid. Now take out this tube and uh, meter six centimeters, cut it. And uh, seven centimeters, cut it. Eight centimeters, cut it. And nine centimeters. But uh, six, seven, eight, nine, six. Seven, eight, nine, and now we put a bracket on. And now we put a tube in. Uh, 
and the black is on top, so the black will go further for this one. And uh, we'll take a look of uh, the, the cable, make sure you have enough cable, and, uh, and make sure when you go here, the, the cable will not sag. So, uh, when you sag down, see there's a, uh, there's a catch here, the cable will get caught here. We're going to install those dampers. Those damper are going to have air, air here. So you can see the air go going this way from from here. So that's the direction of the ink flow. So ink ink going to flow from here to here. Okay. So since ink coming out coming in from here, we're going to we're going to connect with a smaller tube. So this elbow, you can cut it to half in the middle. And uh, this this part we use to connect a smaller tube. And this part we're going to use to connect the bigger tube. So smaller tube to big tube. And then we're going to figure out how long the, the uh, this tube will be. Will be about this long. Okay, before we connect to the bigger tube, we need to get ink in. So, if you do this correctly, <clears throat> when you suck from, from the bigger tube, you're going to see ink coming inside. So, we want to hold, hold, the, hold the, the, this, this square up. And we're going to suck, use this tool, just slowly. And then make sure you get the color right. So the first one we suck in is the black. Okay, you can stop because it's going to come come out soon. Uh, remember the second piece when we cut the apple? We're going to use that to connect the bigger tube. So we're going to put the bigger tube towards the bottom and the little tube up on the top. And then now we're going to work on cyan. Let's take a look. What a beauty. Perfect. Now we're going to uh, start and uh, do 9 to 12 cleanings until we see those tubes full of ink and we have a perfect nozzle check. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.